Can you believe it's 2016? It's the 50th anniversary of the SEMA show. And if you haven't noticed, it's after hours. There's no one here. We're here at the New York Auto Show and Chevy is bringing back the Z28. To Mustang aficionados, the word Shelby is the holy grail and Ford's brought it back. And it's not even a Mustang anymore. It's the all new GT350. And this thing, it's the real deal. Pricing for the all new Discovery Sport starts at $37,995. We love the fact that Land Rover brought back the Discovery. Everyone needs a little disco in their life. The Mercedes AMG GTS makes its North American debut here at the Los Angeles International Car Show. It's not a direct replacement for the SLS AMG, but it should be a better car in every way. Let's check it out. Does the latest Stingray live up to the legend? Has the original withstood the test of time? That's what we're here to find out. Since Chevy's only making 69 of these Copo Camaros, and you're probably not going to be lucky enough to get your hands on one, they're kind enough to offer a lot of these performance parts to you through their aftermarket and their GM performance parts catalog. So you can take your brand new Camaro and soup it up pretty much just like a Copo. It's pretty good stuff, and it's all from the aftermarket. I've got some bubbly for you. Hoping to recapture some of the same magic that made it stand out a decade ago, Chrysler is introducing its all new 300 series here at the LA Auto Show. Let's see what's new. The new 2016 Honda Pilot SUV made its world debut here at the Chicago Auto Show. It's been completely designed, redeveloped, and manufactured here in the United States of America. In fact, it's built at Honda's Lincoln, Alabama assembly plant. Now, when you think of Cadillac, you usually think of luxury. Well, now with the new CT6, you've got to add performance into that equation. This is the heart of the beast. It's a twin turbocharged V6 producing 400 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Well, I think I showed you some pretty cool stuff in the short time we've had at SEMA. You gotta love it. The place is unreal. But it's late and I got some dice to roll, so keep it tuned to Hot Rod Network. See you next time.